Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome once again to Empowering Morning Conversations. So let's celebrate another day. Let's celebrate another day of living. Let's celebrate another day of life. Let's celebrate wonderful relationships in our life and let's celebrate each other and the fact that we are able to be here every morning participating in a program that helps us to create our life rather than just live the same old humdrum usual life just trying to survive. Now if you look at the profile of the people, I mean if you just look at them you know that most of us are experienced people right and we have seen life we have read a lot we know a lot okay and the question which always keeps coming to my mind is okay, okay so we've got the curiosity that's wonderful isn't it and one you can be a seeker of knowledge just to satisfy your curiosity or you can gain that knowledge for a purpose and if we are a fountain of knowledge how can we best put it to use? So this question came up for me a couple of years back and I said, hello, you've got a hell of a lot, you've learned a hell of a lot, you've experienced a hell of a lot. How can you contribute more professionally? So you can say that I was lucky to discover my, you know, vocation many years ago. I found out what I'm, you know, made for. I'm found out, I found out my purpose for being alive, right? And yet, you know, when you get into the world and there are times when people's expectations take over, the influence of the world takes over and sometimes you get deviated from your true purpose to something called make more money, make more money, make more money, make more money because others are making money, right? And you get into a comparison mode, right? So you could be happy with a simple life but you're no longer happy with a simple life you know small things may give you a lot of pleasure but they stop doing that because people say Cho, itna bhi nahi. you know so there is an influence in life which probably takes you away from your purpose or it doesn't even allow you to see your purpose so suppose all our life we've been influenced by others to live our life in a certain way, to think in a certain way, to behave in a certain way. Now, some of it is good, obviously. That is why we got some tezib and all that. But the original you, which came into this world, the natural you, right? <clears throat> Who you are, as they say, got lost somewhere with all this indoctrination going on. So how many of you understand the word indoctrination? Anybody wants to say, what is your take on the word indoctrination? It's a hard word. What is indoctrination? We've been constantly bombarded with indoctrinating statements and comments and thoughts and stuff. What is indoctrination? Are you getting the word which I'm speaking? In talk nation. Hello. Yes, ma'am. So it is, uh, I, I understand it as it is part of our training process to be a certain way, to behave a certain way. Uh, we need to uh, imbibe certain skills or certain approaches in life, uh, which may or may not be limiting us in many ways. Yeah, so may or may not be limiting. What do you think is the fact? Uh, so I guess it's more limiting because it is always outcome based. It draws a parameter around us and our behavior. So I guess it is limiting. Yeah, so for example, if you're a girl born in an Indian family, and especially a Punjabi family, or any other family for that matter, from your childhood, you're being indoctrinated to prepare you for your role as a housewife 
और वट एवर इट इज यू नो लड़कियों को ये करना पड़ता है कढ़ाई सीखो विच इज अ गुड थिंग आई सपोज यू कुड बिकम सीम स्ट्रेस राइट इवन दो यू डिजायर टू बी समथिंग एल्स गुड थैंक यू फॉर शेयरिंग दैट एंड कौन एन साहब कौन एन साहब वट इज इंडोक्ट्रीनेशन फॉर यू इंडोक्ट्रीनेशन मतलब जबरदस्ती कुछ चीज सिखाने की कोशिश करना हाँ वही तो करते रहते हैं <laughs> तो रह क्या जाता है फिर वी लूज आउट ऑफ इट बेवकूफी नहीं दैट वी विल नॉट जज बेवकूफी है नहीं है बट वील सिंपली सही के सी एक यू नो इंडोक्ट्रीनेशन इज लाइक यू हैव सीन दो बोन्साई प्लांट जी बहुत छोटे साइज का होता है स्मॉलर हाँ उसको छोटा ही रखा जाता है ट्रिम कर करके सो इफ अ प्लांट इज गोइंग टू ग्रो नेचुरली एंड इट्स गोइंग टू टेक इट्स नॉर्मल शेप एंड फॉर्म राइट नाइ कोर्स आई लव बॉन्साइड इट लुक्स वेरी नाइस अंटिल आई रियलाइज वन डे कि व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज के वी आर एक्चुअली शंटिंग इट्स ग्रोथ ना But उसको some, बढ़ने नहीं देते बट समय टू इंश्योर इट ग्रोस प्रोपरली प्रॉपर अकॉर्डिंग टू प्रॉपर अकॉर्डिंग टू द यूनिवर्स नो द यूनिवर्स नेवर इंटेंडेड बॉन्साइड टू बी अ बॉन्साइड इट इट यूनिवर्स हैज क्रिएटेड मेनी 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 थिंग्स एंड इट हैज इट्स ओन पर्पज या आई नो बट डिड इट क्रिएट से मैन काइंड कम एंड क्रिएट दिस मिनियचर ट्रीज वो हमने अपने शौक के लिए किया Hmm. वो भी ठीक है अगर मैं नहीं कह रहा हूँ गलत किया नहीं किया बिकॉज आई लव टू सी दम यू नो दे आर सो फैसिनेटिंग बट दैट नॉट द पॉइंट आई एम गिविंग यू दिस एनोलॉजी दैट वी हैव कन्वर्टेड आवर पीपल इन टू बोन्साइज सी इफ नेचर गेव बर्थ टू दिस यूनिक फिनोमिन कॉल्ड कोन एन शहीदी हु कुड बीन एनी थिंग एंड स्टिल कैन बी ऑफ कोर्स बट विद ऑल दिस इंडोक्ट्रीनेशन we were getting shaped and molded into somebody's idea about what an ideal person should be what an ideal beta should be what an ideal beti should be right prepare him like you know people who studied under the british uh, educational system which we are still following right it prepared you not to become an entrepreneur it never prepared you to think independently it never prepared you to go out in the world and you know create stuff you know it it made you they wanted to make you into babus who would listen to the dictates of their masters so please note i'm not using the tarazu here i'm not using a judgment here i'm just saying if we are bombarded with indoctrination how has it impacted us it has created a foundation or a structure for who you are right now if you make somebody do something sufficiently he becomes so used to it i'm sure you've heard of that circus wala example where a boy goes with his father to a circus and he comes running and says papa papa something is happening here very funny so the father says what is funny happening so he goes and shows him a big huge elephant and he says see papa this elephant is going to run away because that elephant is tied to a pole or a tree with a small uh, very thin rope you know whereas the baby elephant is tied to a tree with a chain so father doesn't even notice it he says so what's wrong with this he says papa he's such a big elephant papa such a big elephant he can break this uh, rope and run away eh and that small elephant he cannot do anything they are tying him with the chain so the papa says you know one day this big elephant was also a small elephant and we tied him with a chain and then he tugged and he tugged and he tugged and he found out that he can never run away now even if i tie a thread na so like silai dhaga bhi bandhenge na to bhagega nahi because he believes that he cannot run away that's an example have you heard the other example also they took these fleas ye insects hote hain which jump you know tiddiyan jin bolde punjabi ch and they put it in a glass jar with a lid on top all right because if they don't put a lid on top this little flies they will run out you know they'll fly out of that thing and they kept them inside that box for a couple of months so the fly would hit jump 
hit the glass come down jump hit the glass come down jump hit the glass come down hit jump hit the glass and come down after some time they learned that there's something hard over there so they would jump right just close to the glass and go only inside then they removed the glass all their life they were jumping up and down in that little box right so think about it indoctrinated human beings are like that obviously hamare bhale ke liye hi kiya jata hai bhai koi hamara bura thodi chahta hai yes sir so this indicates sir even the animals and all such a stuff other beings can be uh, programmed or indoctrinated uh, but human beings are different it's more powerful <laughs> yeah we like to believe that but we get that's why i keep saying either you influence the world or the world will influence you abhi jaise aap circus mein jaiyega aap dekhenge ferocious tiger i have seen a lion you know uske sir ke andar aadmi sorry apna sir uske muh ke andar dalta hai wo kaatta nahi hai usko that ferocious animal is dancing to the sound of the hunter you know the whip why he's been conditioned right so i am not saying that all conditioning is bad okay shukar manao ki kuch conditioning kari gayi thi to hum roz brush karte hain naate hain theek hai badtameezi nahi karte hain logon ke sath but how much of indoctrination is enough you know you can take this little life form which is born into your house nurture it care for it right craft it in a manner that it flowers flowers you know it blooms it becomes a better version of what it was and here and there little things you will have to tell them in order to live life in this world right and avoid the pitfalls but how much that is the challenge right we go overboard so forget about what we are doing we are only doing what was done to us okay we are great mimics you know hum imitate karte children also learn by mimicry they learn by imitation the question to ponder over today is how much have i been indoctrinated and how much it has cost me how many of my boundaries are real like that flea there was a glass thing it was removed even then he thought there is a glass thing right how many of our fears and apprehensions are real why is it that we are scared of uncertainty why is it that we fear the most we always think who oh, something bad can happen why don't we say hey something good can happen step out of your house if we look at our indoctrination most of it is about re baba rehne do pata nahi kya ho jayega so that's what i'm talking about if you look into your life and what you know are we operating from limitation or are we operating from the freedom of choice if you are not operating from freedom you are operating to survive it's because we been taught only to survive probably ratan ji ek hamare paas example hai yahan par who had the courage to go to hong kong with 8 dollars in his pocket how many parents would have allowed that he is very blessed that they allowed or he rebelled or he did whatever i mean i also did that somewhat but i wasn't as bold as he was you understand if he had succumbed to that conditioning hurry beta mat jao hong kong pata nahi wahan kya hoga koi mem tere se shaadi kar legi i know a lot of people they wanted to go to england to study and their parents didn't allow them my grandfather was made to marry before he went for his medicine to the uk you know that munde da vyah kara deyo ne te utho mem pakad ke le aayega so fine good he never got married to a mem otherwise maybe i wouldn't have been born as a grandchild i mean some other version would have come out <laughs> so question is how much of our automatic way of thinking so we've got two challenges in life right one is that we are already bombarded and you remember one of the purpose of the empowering morning conversation what is it 
can somebody summarize what are the the purposes of the empowering morning conversation let's ask vetri well what are the purposes of empowering morning conversation ठीक हो तो पूरा याद है साहू से पूछिए नहीं जो लोग कैमरा पे नहीं आएंगे मैं उनसे कुछ नहीं पूछूंगा ओ प्लीज लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन प्लीज कम ऑन कैमरा एंड गेट द पावरफुल लर्निंग पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम सुखदीपक मालवाई डोंट मिस द चांस कम ऑन कम ऑन कम ऑन यू कैन डू इट कम ऑन कम ऑन कम ऑन कम ऑन गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन सॉरी आई वाज देयर वाज अ लिटिल टेक्निकल पेस आई वाज नॉट एबल टू अनम्यूट we are working here to come out from the reaction mode to creation mode sir and also we are all becoming possibility seekers and we are working hard to come out from our default mode into the creative mode and one so, important one you forgot right the first one in the slide Or maybe I missed to hear it. I don't know. Let me so, battery, battery, battery. Counter the ah. Kunal Sahib is prompting you. Eating kar raha hai. Yeah, to negate the effects of all the negativity that we are bombarded. You know. Very interesting. You don't even notice it. You know, we got so used to it. Like you know, Arvind is working for a big company, and one day he gets this great idea. Sir, ye karte hain. तो नेगेटिविटी विल बी अरे रहने देना लीव इट ना नाउ डू दिस मच जॉब इज गोइंग ऑन ऑल राइट ना क्यों पंगा ले रहे हैं इतने लोगों को समझाना पड़ेगा इतने लोगों को ऑपोजिशन होएगा लेट इट गो लाइक दिस वे ओनली यस सर सर आई फील लाइक शेयरिंग ऑन रिसेंटली आई रीड uh which is very much aligned with the discussion which we have we are talking about indoctrination and also with the purpose of emc i read it somewhere it says if you want to know how your mind was just see your body if you want to see how your body is going to be in future see your mind now <laughs> so it <laughs> so just to relate to that all who we are what current reality we are in it's because of the indoctrination we can say knowingly or unknowingly but now we are in emc we can become beautiful in mind we can become beautiful in physical appearance and we can make beautiful reality if we are just making use of it sir thank you very much yeah so if you look at the topic that i have introduced today if you have been bombarded so much with indoctrination if you are getting bombarded so much with negativity and so much so you got so used to it aapko aadat pad gaya hai that you don't even notice ke we are saying it and doing it you know a lot of words come out of our mouth automatically without realizing which is the result of what we have been programmed yeah conditioning programming all the same thing right so if you want to defeat this conditioning of yours the programming of yours first thing which you require is to be so aware ke what am i saying and what is this person telling me you know people talk to you how much of negativity is there in their talking so when i talk at least i've got control on myself am i being am i encouraging people or am i discouraging people am i enabling them or am i disabling them am i a person in my conversation showing possibilities logo ko main sambhavna dikhata hu ya main rukavatein dikhata rehta hu do i keep showing them the obstacles and pitfalls only okay, even without you showing them pitfalls are going to come anyhow right if you want to contribute to someone you will first show him the possibilities no okay, this is what is possible however do some preemptive planning because these kind of problems are likely to come right but when somebody comes with you to you with a great idea are you going to tell him are rehne de baba ye bada khatarnak hai kyun nahi cheez try kare itne dino se aisa kar rahe hain aisa hi karo 
I have seen this, you know, that the people at the worker level, poor fellows, they know only one way to do something, correct? And they feel very safe doing it. Now, boss comes with some new innovative ideas. They resist it a lot. No, sir. You tell them, Aise karo, nahe se karo, bolgar, nahi ho sakta hai, sir. And you'll tell them, karke to dekho, nahi ho hi nahi sakta hai, sir. Then you have to literally force them. Chal, mere saamne ek bari hum dono karke dekhte hai. So difficult it is to get people to change their habits, right? So don't you think it's the same for you? Some of your habits are so deeply ingrained by the programming of others. So I'm not saying I'm not saying give up your good habits, but be very clear about what is the definition you have of good habits and bad habits. Like one of the so-called good habits that my father inculcated in me was don't argue. Every time I would ask him a question, he would say, don't argue. I said, don't argue. And I'm thinking in my mind, but daddy, I'm only wanting to ask you a question. So I would ask him anyway, because you know how children are, they will not shut up. And you say, shut up, you talk too much. Now conditioning going on, no? So by the time you go to school, you decide to keep quiet. Baba, the teacher also must be like my daddy. So don't ask questions. I might ask a silly question and then my teacher will say, what a silly follow, what a stupid question to ask. Now, have you noticed that when you ask some question and they don't have an answer to it, they'll say, what a stupid question. How subtly this indoctrination is going on? So what's the point in my telling you all this? What do you think? Why have I brought this to the fore? So I want to hear that. We've got five minutes to go in this call. The fact that we are indoctrinated and being aware about it, why am I telling you all this? Okay, Gunan, go ahead. I think it's uh, very important to uh, be aware of this, though somehow we know, but uh, it's very important to deep dive and understand uh, what are the what are the beliefs uh, within me have been in I have understood, way. but why am I asking you, why did I bring this in today? How would it benefit you? Let's talk about that. Na? Kya hoga? It will help me to uh, be aware of those beliefs which are not useful and uh, make an attempt to uh, shift or change Oh. Not the belief so much as what you are automatically doing. Take it. What ham log na we automatically talk some kind of stuff. Hamara bolna tarika ek khota hai. Right? There are two things which will be visible to the world. One is how you speak and what you speak. Correct? Dunia ko to yeh dikhai dega na. Kunen saab bol kya rahe hain ya kunen saab kar kya rahe hain. Behind that beliefs are there. Whatever is there, it's fine. Right? A lot of times I think it is only the conditioning that is there. If you do one thing once, you will get a habit. If you talk a particular way, you can also say that you can get a habit. So I am looking at that, at that level. You know? so when you start becoming aware, I believe, that's why I am raising the topic, you will start becoming aware of what are you saying. And when somebody is saying something like that, you will be aware that you will be In fact, I ask people sometimes, they tell me something. I ask them, why are you telling me this? Purpose kya? Kya jate ho tu? You know, they start thinking. I even ask one person, are you trying to empower me or disempower me? You know, what is the purpose of a relationship? Even if it is an official relationship, support each other, empower each other, make each other stronger, right? So Mary conditioning ki wajah se, because of my indoctrination, if I'm saying things which are disempowering people or people are saying to me that is disempowering, what should I do? Stop it. Yeah? If they are doing it, you stop them and say, ki, hello, sir, ab, asa bol kyu rahe ho? purpose kya hai iska? See, we are so much used to purposelessly saying something without thinking. People are also doing the same thing. 
एक तोता होता है ना वो सोच के थोड़ी बोलता है तो मोमेंट यू स्टार्ट क्वेश्चनिंग के सर आपने ये बात बोली क्यों आपका पर्पस क्या है ही विल रियलाइज के वॉट गड़बड़ इज डूइंग नो ही मे नॉट फील ऑफेंडेड यू टेल पोलाइटली कि सर ये आप कह तो रहे हो बट इसका पर्पस क्या है Yeah, got it, sir. Thank you. That is what I am trying to. Yes, Neeti ji. Yes, sir. Uh, pretty much, uh, you and Kunal have said the same thing. In this our journey of self discovery and um, breaking free of our limitations, uh, this is another layer that we need to shed off, which is inbuilt so much into us that we do not know it as anything. which is not natural to us so um i think it is it will take a couple of days for us to be uh, introspect and see which acts which beliefs which limitations of us our own is coming from indoctrination um because it's true there are times when i feel i am not so scared but i live a scared approach that difference of my belief and my approach where the indoctrination has happened due to whatever reasons right or wrong good or bad does not matter but due to some external reasons that has happened and that is what i need to break free of and know my real self more and live by my real self more explore even if i want to um, shed a choice that i have made it has to be shed because it is my choice to shed it rather than an indoctrination Yeah, even you might have a choice to keep it also, yes. because it will be your choice rather than the compulsion. Yes. So Beautiful. it is coming out of awareness and analysis. Yeah. So this conversation can make it possible for you to make changes in your life if you start noticing what are you doing, and what yes. people are doing, what are you saying, and what people are saying. Because that's what is you know see conditioning begets more conditioning. Hmm. you know when you start believing something you will pick up you will observe and you will find situations more to reinforce what you already believe so yes. if you start cutting it out then you will find new possibilities emerging na basically all the limitations that we live by is what we need to find out are they valid or can they be shed off yeah because most of them have been imposed on you na Yes you were not born with those limitations were you nobody is born with the limitations yes some have learned out of our experience there also you will notice somebody said something ha huh. like my mom said good boys don't get angry i said oh i am a good boy and good boys don't get angry so i should never get angry what a silly thing so sometimes you have to show anger also no right what is so good great thank you so much yes vetri ji Uh, sir, a quick one. Why this topic we are discussing today, according to me, is we are a wonderful, extraordinary, and magnificent human being, and world is providing always a infinite possibilities, endless possibilities. But hindrance between us and the possibilities is the indoctrination or a bad habits which have been picked up knowingly or unknowingly. yeah and very important to be aware to even start from the words we speak i observed from many of my close friends they start with the word called no actually they are supposed to say yes they are supposed to speak positive they are going to give a good answer but the practice they, they have been practicing without knowing it they say no i am coming no 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 wait for me something they they can possibly start with yes in tamil also i have seen they start conversation with illa illa <laughs> <laughs> that's what so where that came from i mean we were not born with it why yes yes so very important yeah. to break that in hindrance because there is a infinite possibilities are awaiting for us to achieve thank you very much okay so one more thing i want you guys to think about you know that how do you know that we have been indoctrinated with poverty mentality ha huh? i don't have enough money i don't have money even they are have money they'll say i don't have money are baba if somebody says you do this program it is costing you this much money you don't want to do it you say i don't want to do it na i don't want to invest right now but now i don't have the money it is too costly where is that coming from 
But I know people who may have, I mean, like I was quite surprised, you know, there's a friend of mine, I've been working with him, coaching him and all that. And he's always like, hi, hi, I don't have enough money. Here. So yesterday we did some reality check with him. I found out that Bhagat's got 25 lakh lying in his bank. And the way he talks, you think that he's got 500 rupees in his bank. You get it? So it is already indoctrinated. On top of that, by your own words, you are indoctrinating yourself also every day, adding to your belief. Yes, Rama. Today Good. we are not able to see you. Yeah. For some Sorry. Good morning, sir. No, uh, what? See, I also started with no. So what uh, Vetri was saying that no, that is clearly indoctrinated in the childhood. So whatever the child does, the parents always say no, 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 instead of really you know, spending time focusing and watching what the child does and guiding and supporting. The default mode is no, at least no. Thousand times we say no to the children. So that's where the uh, no comes from. Exactly. The, the indoctrination. <laughs> the most classic example of indoctrination is uh, Pavlov and his dogs, right? So he was a Russian psychologist. He was doing experiment with dogs, you know. So every time he gave food to the dogs, he would ring a bell. Okay. So a couple of months, dogs would come. I mean, he would ring the bell, dogs would come, they would eat food and go. So after a couple of months, when there was no food there also, he would ring the bell, they'll come running and they would be salivating. So that Russian scientist by the name of Pavlov, it's a famous experiment, but we are all conditioned like that, no? They were only conditioned to come when the bell rang. What about your conditioning? Yeah. So the purpose is start noticing what you say and what you do and question it. Where is it coming from? Is it yours? So we are influenced in two levels. One is the conditioning that we had from the past. And the second is, I don't know how many of you are aware, we are getting bombarded by the thoughts, feelings and emotions of thousands of people who are, some of them are near you. They're not even speaking. Their thoughts, feelings, emotions, we are picking it up energetically. And whatever we are doing in our mind energetically is picked up by them. So there is a resonance, you know. So we are adding more to that negativity or conditioning, what they call as the herd mentality. All right. So today I want you to go out there and start questioning that and being aware of that and opening up new possibilities so that your new life can emerge. You know, a lot of us have great aspirations and desires. They are not getting fulfilled. Now, if you actually practically start using some of the distinctions from this program, you may start seeing that your desires are getting fulfilled, but you'll have to defeat your conditioned or indoctrinated mind first. All right, guys. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. God bless you and take care of you and you take care of yourself and celebrate life, celebrate relationships. See you tomorrow morning. God bless you. Bye-bye. Stay safe and stay blessed all. Take care.